the, the devil's advocate on this is why do we have to specify that the female character has to be a kick-ass female character? Why did we need that kick-ass in front of her to, you know, consider what we grew up in? <laughs> but is that something that you think might need to change? Or what do you think of having to, to say it has to be a, a kick-ass female? I think that started with leather pants. <laughs> no, I'm really serious. Once I started putting every single female on the cover in leather pants, it's leather pants and kick ass goes together. <laughs> Either that or you're in a really bad heavy metal band. <laughs> I freely confess that along with reading all of E.E. E. Doc Smith, all of Robert E. Heinlein, all most of Asimov, you know, the classics, I also read every single Barbara Cartland published before 1970. Oh my dear God. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And you lived. <laughs> and I, I must say that if you want to read her, read the stuff she wrote during her first marriage. Okay? Before the dude did her wrong. After that, she seemed to have written for the money and instead of the love. But anyway, but yeah, it, so I, I take female heroines from both sides of the street. What do you guys think? I haven't heard from Sun Virgin well, yet. Um, I think maybe the, uh, uh, quote, kick-ass heroine, unquote, is simultaneously new enough to really be interesting and you know, interesting to the writer, interesting to the reader, uh, interesting to Hollywood, and at the same time is familiar enough that people are now comfortable with this character. You know, we no longer have a situation where you know, having, a, uh, you know, having a man and a woman get into a knockdown, drag out fight, and neither one of them is holding back. I mean, he is not you know, going easy on the little lady here, and you do not get picketed when this happens. I don't laugh, you know. Oh, yeah. Go back enough decades and yes, you would see it. So the kick-ass heroine is new enough to still be interesting, but has been around long enough that she's no longer provoking that sort of reaction. So I think that's why she keeps coming up. And you know, there's going to be, you know, probably ten or fifteen years from now, some other type of character. And moderators will be asking, why do we keep bringing this type of character up? Why do we keep talking about it? Okay, for me it is, um, okay, I not only grew up reading, but I also grew up being taught that women got their way by manipulating men, that women couldn't do anything for themselves. Ladies didn't do that. And that if a man hit you, you deserved it. I also learned up. I also grew up learning how to fight. Um, but being having been raised with that, not only do I welcome and adore, I'm. I like strong, can take care of themselves women that don't rely on batting their eyelashes. It's bad when you never had eyelashes to begin with. <laughs> but this is why I tend to use the phrase, and there are enough people writing, still writing the bat the eyelashes, use a feminine wilds to get your way, and some of them are making millions doing, that, doing it, damn it. Um, that, you know, this is why I put that qualifier in. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I fall for that eyelashes thing every time. <laughs> no, you're flashing back to Pharaoh. We know. Oh, uh, no, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, uh, I think that the, you know, I think the reason that the, the hot ass or the, the kick ass chick. <laughs> Like I said, I, I, I'm not complicated. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, I think the reason there's been such a, 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 a surge in those, these characters lately is that, uh, frankly, it's, it, it's economical from the point of view of Hollywood. 
Uh, you get an action character, and you get a main protagonist, and you get the, the girl all in the same place. Uh, and, what actor? And, yeah, I mean, you, I mean, you watch something like Alias, and uh, you know, Alias covers, you know, Alias covers all the personal drama that she has between her, between her, her and her friends, and her love life, and then it's doing all the action stuff as well. Uh, it just makes good sense. It's it's economical, uh, 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 and you know, from the point of view as a writer, I've written I've written some female protagonist characters, and yeah, I, I like to do anything I can to save myself work, uh, uh, but. Uh, uh, if you're going to have that character, if you're going to have her in a protagonist role, she needs to be able, uh, she's got to be formidable. If you don't have a character who is able to affect the, the environment around them and the world around them, um, you're, not, you're not really writing a terribly interesting character, at least from my point of view. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, I mean, if you're going to have a female character, she's got to be able to, she's got to have something that she can, that she can absolutely uh, uh, go to town with. Uh, and whether that's a, whether that's some sort of in some sort of physical way or in some sort of, or in uh, some other way, uh, you have to hand that you have to hand that power to the character, or else they're not funny. So is this where we all get up and kick your butt because you think that we need extra stuff that we can't kick your butt right now? That we need leather pants? Oh, no, <laughs> there's, like, there's, no, there's no, like five no. of you up here and one of me. Find the one, of course you'll win. <laughs> And I'm just saying, there's yeah. only one person up here who's, you know, using intimidation tactics. Oh. And that's not me, the guy. <laughs> 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 noticed in literature, uh, at least in one particular author we've seen here, we have great, wonderful, strong women characters in the books, but you take them to the screen and they're not as strong. What do you guys feel about that when you see that? Okay, give me an example. Mo was not as cool in the, in the TV series as she was in the books. I disagree. Murphy? Murphy, yeah. I, dis oh. I disagree. Yeah, but her actress was the only one who had actually read all the novels, so. <laughs> I'm, not my vote. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm skewed on this one. I don't have a good perspective. And um, we were mentioning another <laughs> similar. Uh, the mother from Dune, um, Jessica. Jessica was not nearly as kick ass in the movies as she was in the books. Dilaurent has created Dune to insult the faithful. <laughs> <laughs> 